uh, good morning friends praise the lord i hope everyone can listen to me uh, i greet you all in the wonderful and master's name of our lord and savior jesus christ uh, it's not the first time that uh, we are uh, online during this pandemic uh, season and uh, from the last uh, four four and a half months we all have been listening to online messages for n number of times uh, may it be facebook or whatsapp or zoom meetings every church is trying to be online uh, with its members uh, and be connected to uh, their believers all across the world uh, so i will not uh, be preaching or many a uh, very big sermon or a bombastic sermon uh, it's a simple message uh, which uh, came to my mind while i was uh, going through the scriptures uh, as we know that uh, probably this would be the last few hours of our Uh, college holidays uh, uh, in fact uh, in the last 3 years it has been the longest uh, vacations which i have enjoyed uh, in ibc uh, maybe thanks to covid 19 uh, because of that we have enjoyed a long uh, vacation of nearly 4 4 and a half months and uh, during this uh, time we all have uh, got much chance to be with the lord and to spend time with him to read the scriptures and uh, be uh, grown up spiritually more and more so uh, now i would uh, now i would uh, request uh, to turn your scriptures to uh, matthew chapter 5 uh, verse uh, 14 uh, if you have bibles with you you can turn your uh, bibles to matthew chapter 5 verse 14 and i will read the first part of it you are the light of the world uh, the scripture says and the verse says so that uh, you are the light of the world so as we know that matthew chapter 5 6 and 7 uh, stands out to be the uh, or to say the mountain on the uh, sermon on the mount uh, the uh, the message which our christ gave uh, during he was in on this earth uh, to his disciples and to the crowd that was uh, with him so this three chapters including the three uh, 111 verses the uh, this uh, this uh, whole uh, scripture portion may be connoted as the foundational uh, foundational uh, the fundamental scripture or the fundamental basis for the new christians or the christian church or the new testament church this is the uh, constitution through which we can live our daily life so these three chapters tells us about how we can live our daily life in a in a christian a christian life in this world so uh, this chapter 5 it begins with the beatitudes we have all learned that by heart uh, during our scripture examinations and uh, now uh, the verse 14 it says that you are the light of the world what is a light a light is something which gives us a hope which gives us a renewation it gives us a new energy it gives us a new feeling it gives us a uh, new enthusiasm in our life whenever after a dark night when we see a good morning and when we see the sun rising we see and we could feel that there is a hope in our life there is something good in our life that is going to happen so during yeah 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 it's okay and so now is it audible yeah so uh, this scripture portion says that you are the light of the world when we see into the uh, the gospel of john there are seven i am sayings of jesus christ jesus says there are that i am the good shepherd i am the true vine i am the way the truth and the life i am the resurrection and life and i am the light of the world I, among these all these i am sayings there is only one i am saying that also belongs to us that you are the light of the world christ says that i am the light of the world in the same way you are the light of the world so this today morning when we are uh, in this uh, great pandemic or we are all uh, in this closed rooms or four walls how can we be the light of the world or we can say uh, we need to be the light of the world to shine to the people who are in darkness so today morning i would bring three characteristics of light before you from the scriptures and close my sermon as soon as possible 
uh, the first characteristics of the of the uh, of the light is that it is separated from the darkness genesis chapter 1 verse 4 says that god created light in the beginning and god separated the light from the darkness so what does that scripture portion tell to us it says that or it conveys a simple message that we do not belong to darkness we are not a part of darkness there is nothing we have a fellowship or we have any communion with darkness when god created light in this world he first did was he did not give light to the people to use he just separated the light from the darkness this it com conveys a very simple message today morning that we have no communion with the darkness we have no fellowship with the darkness we are totally separated from it we are totally away from it even though we live in a world of darkness we live in a world which is filled with darkness and everywhere around us we have we see the evil forces the evil works but we are not of this world and we do not belong to this darkness we are totally separated from it the second characteristic what what the uh, the light says is that it is the dark light to the darkness light is a hope in the people for the people in darkness in cha matthew chapter 4 verse 16 when christ was in zebulun and naphtali the places the scripture says that the people saw a great light it means that christ became a light for the people who were in darkness in the same way as we are separated even though we are separated from the darkness we are not a part of the darkness but we are a light to the people in darkness we are a ray of hope for the people who are in darkness as we if if we are in a dark room or we are in a densely dark room we can bring a small mastic a burning mastic and it can clear the darkness from there but we cannot bring the darkness from one place to clear the light we have so we are a light to the people who are in darkness the third and the last point is that in genesis chapter 1 verse 4 again god says when god uh, separated the light from the darkness god said light is good light is always good first that we are separated from the darkness second we are a light to the people who are in darkness who are oppressed, who are suppressed, who are uh, who don't have any ray of hope in their life. And the third portion is that we are always to be good. We are ought to be good. When God created us, God created every creation, it was good. So when we are separated from the darkness, we became a light for the people in the darkness, and this light is all always to be good to other people. So how can, uh, the last, I want to say one thing, how, how can we become a light? How can we shine? How can we uh, project ourselves? How can we be a light to the people? Once uh, our former president, Dr. A.P. Abdul Kalam said one, like this, if you want to shine like a sun, you just have to burn like it. I repeat, if you want to shine like sun, you have to first burn like a sun. We all want it to be like sun. We all want that we, we could shine, we could be a ray of hope for the others, but we need to burn ourselves. How can we burn? This, the things which burn us, the problems or the, or the uh, situations or the conditions which burn us. We come into a room, we pray. The more we pray, we get closer to God. The more we get closer to God, the more we get to know Him. And the more we get to know Him, we will always try to imitate God. We will always try to imitate his love. We will always try to project his love to the people. In this way, as in the scripture, chapter uh, John chapter 13, verse 34, it says that love one another. This is the greatest commandment that I am giving you. And through this, the world will know that you are my disciples. So love is the greatest thing. Or, the, or we can say that love is one of the greatest essence of our life. When we become light for the people, the light is always good. And how can we be good? We can show and we can portray the love to others. It's not that always when we portray love to others, we will always get back love. We will get hatred. 
as Christ, uh, Christ always, he showed his maximum love on the cross, but he always received the hatred from the people. It's not that when we when we project our love to the people, we will get also get the love from the people. We will always get a hatred from the people. We will get rejection from the people. Then also, it's our duty to project the love of Christ to the people. So, friends, today morning, I just want to convey a short message through this uh, chapter five, verse fourteen, Matthew, that uh, you are the light of the world. You are a bright star to the world. You are the one who could light the darkness or remove the darkness of many people around you and you are always to be good and the foremost thing you do not belong to darkness you do not have any companion with the darkness so friends as we are going to a new academic year may god bless you and allow you to be a light to this world from the four walls of your room from the four walls of your home and so that you can go and love the people with god's love May God bless you through these wonderful words. May God bless you all.